In 1998, China made a deal enabling them to produce 200 domestically produced Sukhoi Su-27 SK Air Superiority Fighters. The aircraft is operated by the People's Liberation Army Air Force and People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force of China. The initial deal stated that the Shenyang J-11 was to use Russian avionics, radars and engines, but the cooperation between the countries was halted after about 100 aircraft. The alleged reason for the sudden stop in production was that the J-11 could no longer satisfy the requirements. China instead developed an indigenous variant, the J-11B, which has been modified in various ways using Chinese materials. The airframe has been modified, and Chinese technology has been used for radar, avionics and weaponry. A reason for the Chinese version was supposedly that the Russian avionics and radar only were suitable for aerial missions. In 2010, Russia expressed a concern that China was manufacturing unlicensed copies of the Su-27. In 2007, the J-11Bs were grounded for an extended period, due to poor operational reliability. According to the Washington Post, the Chinese engines lasted 30 hours before they needed servicing, compared to 400 hours for the Russian versions. The engine problem is reported to have been solved by the end of 2009. The J-11 is armed with a 30mm Gryasev Shiponov GSH-31 cannon. It is capable of carrying a wide range of missiles, including radar-guided air-to-air missiles, infrared air-to-air missiles, and it can also carry an unguided rocket launcher and cluster bombs. The Shenyang J-11 has a maximum speed of Mach 2.35 and a range of 3,530 km, and has an airframe that is made of titanium and aluminium alloys. The same as the Su-27SK. There are a number of different versions of the J-11, including the two-seat J-11BS. The Shenyang J-15 is a carrier-based aircraft, developed from the J-11B and incorporating ideas from the Sukhoi Su-33. The Shenyang J-16 is also developed from the J-11B, and serves as a two-seat multi-role strike fighter. It has improved avionics and an AES radar, and can also carry anti-ship missiles, satellite-guided bombs and cruise missiles. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel.